So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 XP farm video. Guys, this one you don't want to miss. It will earn you tons of XP. It's an old spot we're actually redoing. We've got a new strat for it. Guys, stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leave a like. It really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this is post nerf to the Dungeon Elite Density Farm. But hey, this dungeon right here, Forsaken Quarry, which we have covered in the past, is still unbelievable. So yes, it's located right here on the map, guys. This is where you want to come to. Now, if you have a build which can take out groups of ads quickly, this will be way more efficient for you. If you're in a group, a party, it's going to be even more efficient for you. Now, please keep in mind, I respect yesterday at level 63, uh, completely changed up the way my Necromancer works. Sacrificed all my minions trying to do something new. Most of my gear hasn't got aspects which support what I want uh, yet. But hey, you'll still see, guys, that I can still clear out a lot of these ads pretty quickly. But like I said, with your builds and your setups, you'll make things way, way better. Now, this place is still absolutely crazy when it comes to uh, the amount of grouped up ads. But again, we're going to run it a little differently. We ain't going to progress the whole dungeon. We're just going to run to a certain part and then reset which is way more efficient way way more efficient so you can see the way this actual works is well it's all it's tied to combos you need to activate combos once those combos are in um, it's perfect it's perfect like that just like so when, when, once everything kicks in it's great now the thing about this dungeon is as well you'll see it here uh, sometimes there's actually a different route which will lead to an event I always recommend you go on and checking out the event. If it's a good event, you may as well spam it out because at the end of the day, guys, it is free XP. It's free XP and we all love that XP. That's the point of these things. So I don't think there's going to be one on this uh, uh, dungeon run. But as you know, guys, with RNG, I have the dungeon layouts. It's, it's, it's either here or there. I hate them things that blow up. They always take me out. Okay, so now we're into this part here. We've got to slay all these ads, which is cool. And then we'll move on to the next part, which is literally what we'll do. And then we'll progress and reset the dungeon. Okay, so I'm just going to drop a piece of loot. got so much loot on me. Okay, so I've been testing this out for about 15 minutes and it's unbelievable. So here, guys, now we have to rescue prisoners. But we ain't rescuing anybody. We're just going to run past them. Um, so you can see here, there's actually a couple different routes. So probably you're going to get the event down spawn down here, which if it does, like I said, you got to go and do them. you got to go and do them. So there were normal little stragglers like this. I probably wouldn't normally run. I mean, destruct kill. I just leave them. You just want the big groups, which are the main XP gains. That's where they come from. But again, we're running past any prisoners. We ain't worrying about any of them. These all got damage resist on them. I was wondering why they was taking a little bit longer to die. But it's all good. It doesn't really matter. You can see, look, the amount of ads. They're just non-stop. These ads are literally, guys, they're non-stop. Which is great. Because that's what we want. And every time I've run this, it's been like this. It's been absolutely nutty. Okay, so we're going to go up this way. <clears throat> okay, so that's a dungeon door. I mean the progression door. So we're going to ignore that. We're just going to clear out any more ads that may be left. Or at least any big groups anywhere. So we kill him. We're just going to run back down this way. Any more groups of ads? Here we go. There's still a few here. But these are what we're going to take out. My goal then, man. You know what? I sacrificed my minions because they're just absolutely useless. I tell you what, my golems. I'm sure he's bugged, you know. Necromancers, you guys out there, if you use your golem, you, should, you probably know this yourselves. Mine just seems like he just is in a world of his own. Barely listens to my instructions, does my nothing. And, like, most of the time I tend to slam a certain area to make those uh, enemies vulnerable. He waits about 10 seconds, runs into the corner of a room, and slams a wall. The amount of times he's done that, does my nothing. Does my absolute nothing. Okay, so, yep, a few more ads, groups to take out. 
Has my golem died? My go ah, that's it. My golem's getting sacrificed as well. Blimmin' idiot, man. Okay, so there may be an event up here. There may not be, but if there is, you want to do it. Okay, so we've got an event. Come on, golem. Dude, get to work. Do something useful. So yeah, this is the event. This event normally is in the first section down here. But hey, again, you may as well do it. So what we got to do here? Destroy bone masses. Ah, oh, this is actually one of the... Is it one of the power events? I think it could be. But you do get some of these events that just get an absolute ton of ads spawning. Which is really what we want. That's the good... That's the, they're the good ones. But again, it's always worth your time checking them out and doing them. Because again, it's free XP. It's free XP. There aren't that many ads in this one, it don't seem. The, the one I did uh, on my last run of this, mate, the amount of elites that were spawning in, I was like, yeah, if you can get this every time, it's even better. It's even better. And again, guys, you can do this way more efficient than me with your builds that just storm through things. I've seen those, those mages, I've seen those barbarians, I've seen them builds, they're disgraceful. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Now, from here, guys, you simply leave the dungeon. If you're playing solo, as you do, uh, go to your map and go to leave dungeon or press up on your d-pad and click leave dungeon. Once you're outside of the dungeon doors people, you simply quit out of your game. If you're on next gen or PC, this will be probably about a 30 second turnaround. If you're on old gen, then get yourself in a party. Now if you're in a party, it's way, way easier and this will be way more efficient. Like I said, you'll be able to run it much, much quicker. But if you're in a party, you simply the party host goes to the social menu within your settings, or well, within your, your tab, you know what I'm talking about, people press start, go to social menu, then leaves the party. The host will then teleport outside of that dungeon door. He then re-invites you back into his party and re-enters the dungeon. And there's a legion of an over there. I might go and do that in a quick second. I'm still missing that horse. I need that spectral horse, people. This game hates me. Our RNG is bad. But yeah. So you re-enter the dungeon, people, as we do. And that right now, and you'll see... That all of these ads will have respawned, which is a great, great thing. We can reset the farm as you can see, the layout's changed. But you'll see the ads will all be back. They will all be back as you see. Absolute tons of them. So yeah, you may as well take advantage of this. Get damage resistance again. Oh, because I've got that big dude down there and he's taking him out. There we go, people. There we go. We are cooking. We are cooking. But there we have it, guys. Again, just run the dungeon. Rinse and repeat. Get that XP. Earn that loot. And do what you gotta do. On that note, the end of the video has uh, arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Diablo 4, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.